Hey y'all, Chris here, aka Rufo Tris, and today I'm in an undisclosed part of Utah, and we're looking for some pet wood, and then also just all sorts of cool rocks, but check out what we've got so far. So I'll show you some of the pet wood in a moment, but look at this. It's some really cool kind of chert-like material all over here. Very interesting. There's just tons of it. That one looks really cool. And this material is just all over the ground here. It's like opal and chert. Um, I don't think it's actually pet wood at all. I think it's just, yeah, really stripy and cool. I'm gonna keep a few pieces of it. Some of those are really wild looking. That one's pretty cool. I just like the stripes. So we'll take a few pieces home. And then I've got a pile of pet wood a little down the hill and some in my backpack. Um, yeah, we'll check in in just another moment when I find my next piece of pet wood and we'll show you some of that out here. There's another little stripey one. It's a really interesting material. Definitely a lot of it. Look, there's another one right where I dropped that one. You got something? I'm coming. Got a cluster of pet wood. Let's go check it out. Going through it. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, this one. That's some really good chalcedony. That's not even a fracture, that's a petroidal formation right there. In the corner, there's those are large bots. Oh, nice. Just broken off. Yeah, it's, that's a gemmy specimen piece, keep it. Uh, so he gave me the little bot one, but I found this one here, which was pretty. All right, I'm at home and this is a few months later. It's been a while, but look at that. There's the piece we were just showing right there. So stay tuned. We're going to look at some of these in the blacklight at the end. That is a good piece, though. How snug is it? Oh, it's kind of big. Oh. All these bugs are persistent. Let me help you out here. Let's move that. It's a dead rib. Oh, yeah, no. Hold on. Maybe I should have... Uh... Do the mini tripod. Yeah. That is a really nice one. See. Oh, I could see a cab in that. Ooh, that is pretty colors. Yeah, odds are that is uh, that's wood. It's just it's so small, it's almost unrecognizable. Let's... Oh, how deep does it go? Oh my god. Tangled in some roots too, that's why. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a big one. There's anything else there. It's probably a bit of float from the bottom. Oh man, I think I need to clean my lens. Yeah, we'll have to rinse that one off at the car. It has some good colors. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna slice this one up tonight. Maybe. Oh, that's a big piece. Might be a display one. Um, but the ground is just covered in all sorts of nice little. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we both saw that one. Oh. <laughs> and it was just the corner damn. peeking out. Oh, that's the other piece of the box. I wonder if that'll fit into that one. It might be. <laughs> might be a key. Oh, there's another opalized chip here. Yeah. So uh, I could go get the gem screens if you'd like to dig this wall. Yeah, we can hang out here and go grab the bucket and stuff. And we also sliced that one up at the end. So do not miss that because that was some gorgeous, gorgeous wood inside. Look at that pattern. Wow, that is 
quite the betroidal. Oh yeah, we're back in the zone. Let's get digging. Wow. And this is so green under the my black light as we saw earlier. This is the same that was popping in green with my UV, right? Uh, At oh, your yeah. house? Yeah. So the bots are aggressively fluorescent. Because it's fresh. It hasn't been weathered yet. Yeah. We'll, uh... Oh, look at that. We'll take it. I just saw that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. You know what? That's some of that banded trudy stuff, actually. Yeah, it's... It's There's a lot tricky. of silica replacements here. I'm kind of wondering what this mottled stuff is. It's like a brishy. Yeah, so it looks like a rhyolite, but it also looks churdy. Well, rhyolite can look churdy. But, I mean, just like the Dugway rhyolite, it's, this whole area is we're, covered in... Ooh, we're we're standing on top of what's called a lahar. So, look at the opal in that one. That's amazing. Look at this one here. Nice. Yeah. Let's add this to the bucket. I'll go bring it up. Um, this kind of an area where it looks like uh, soft material is gathered and we're spraying it out. So going off this direction, I've been finding a lot of blue wood. Oh, that's a pretty good piece there. The rain gathered in time. Little bits of blue agate goodness. <laughs> it's so easy to just keep stopping and looking at it. Yeah, like, so Pick up every chip. It's approaching like midday. It's very good for what we're doing. So I have a collapsible shovel in my bag. So we can pick a spot and then screen it out. Oh my god, look at this spot here. Oh, uh, there's another blue piece there host wow. rock it's host rock yeah that's a nice little chunk of agate in there actually just smash just that whole thing up there's only on the corner let's just like blue smash agate there too there might be a wood piece in the yeah. can chip that off with my rock hammer just look in the rest of that too go for it man it's shoveled okay. okay so i broke that little detroital there out of the host check that out well, that's a nice one in the back side, we can see it runs deeper into the rock, so I started smashing the rock up, and it's just got little bits of chalcedony all in there. There, there's some little agate goodness. So I'll break it up a little more, see if we've got uh, any chunkers in there. And this is some blue off the back side. The shovel's destroyed. Oh no, your shovel not working? The screw no, go out? We'll just use the pick and glass trawl right here. You want to get to my angle? That is gorgeous. So we Ooh. see how deep the iceberg goes? Yeah. Oh, it goes pretty deep. Oh, oh that's big. Oh. Oh, I think that's your specimen of the day, sir. <laughs> that is a fully opalized piece. You could make mini carats of jewelry out of that. Hold on, let's... Wow. I need to see some color in that. I'm gonna have to get my water bottle. These mosquitoes. Thanks man. for the drive out. I, I assume we're even on gas money, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't going to make you give me anything. Look at that. That is a gem quality opalized piece of wood. Some of the best this area offers. That's probably fluorescent right there on the end. Yeah. Wow. That's going to clean up real nice. Oh, man. That's a nice find. Uh, Let's see. That's definitely uh, let's get it in the sunlight going more. in the pack. Uh, let's, uh, I got some water. Let's get the back side of it. That's where the crystal is. The crystal core right there. Got this better. one just trawling out the surface for a few minutes. It's about four inches down. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, Find some more big old I'm chunkers. I'm gonna shine my light against that. It's probably gonna be translucent. Look at the tiny lichen. I thought I was gonna show you site B today. The other <laughs> site. 
Might not leave this spot. Might not leave this spot. Keep on with this quality. Hmm, weird. We've got a cluster of very highly opalized petrified wood with white, black, and blue calcite me. Oh man, that vein just glows. Oh yeah, um, put a flashlight against it. Um, it should go pretty deep. Should we get the pick? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I gotta set this one down. Here it comes. There's probably some broken pieces below it. It's just barely locked in there. There we it's go. A really good piece. Um, it's a cutter. Like, uh, you want it? Look at how opaly that is right there. Yeah. So is this one next to it? Um, I'll take that as yeah. a specimen piece, sure. Yeah, I'll cut it up, but I can I'll also... Keep yeah, that is going to be a nice piece. Hey, yeah, we're going to go slice that up tonight. Not sure if that's wood or not. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, these... Oh, there's just little... That piece is so opaly, though, it looks like glass. Oh man, there's just tons under here. Oh my god, that's very crystally. I'm not sure if it's open or not. Let's grab my spray bottle. It definitely has chert in it, but no cell structure. Mm. Okay. Then when I looked out and just found it, a pair. Hey, if you got me a slab of that, I'd be super happy. Yeah, I can. I'll just cut it in the most uh, advantageous way for having. Like, I usually like to see the wood grain yeah oh yeah i play with the uv too and see how the light goes in the uv and see sure yeah and maybe i should be recording this i'm gonna leave my bag on top of the other piece i might keep that one though yeah by all means i got enough don't feel like oh look at that <coughs> that is solidly in there too Okay. Hopefully it has some uh, crystal replacement. I'm going to dig this out and be right back, guys. All right. Here's the big one I just pulled out. Nice and black on the bottom. Good big chunk. Take that home, clean it up, and we'll uh, slice it up. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Oh, wow. That's got great colors. Oh, there's something on my lens. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Very nice find. I bet you that glows under UV. That yeah. little bit of drews there is usually reactive. Oh yeah, we'll have fun in the UV tonight. Uh, reverse side. Nice. Great color. So much petrified wood, just everywhere. Tons of it. Another thing, just heavily Wow, that is a... Uh... So, he just found this one. And he found this really nice betroidal. Look at that. Just covered in bots. Camera. Super petroidal. It's jasper and agate. Nice little mix, jasper agate. And then I found this one. Little tiny bots. A nice bird in the background. And then this one. Check that out. We're about to dig that out. That looks big. Need some help. Let's see. Oh yeah, you want to grab it? big one. Oh, yeah. It's a chunker. Let's get the spray bottle. It's probably pet wood. Oh, I just I smashed a bug on my eye. Gross. So the green opal there. And then this one's got, I found a little seam, a little tiny crack of this rock filled with micro betroidals. Look at it. 
Look at it, tiny little bots. A tiny little bot caught my eye. They're so tiny. Little micro betroidals. That's a cool one. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this one's really sweet. Okay. I just stumbled over this. And, uh... Ah, it's got some nice spots in it. Oh man, yeah, I got a lot of probably flies around it. Too. Yeah, that's a um, nice one. UV beach is over in my bag. I get to flash it. Yeah, I'll. I might try and you, you could break that off. I might that. break it back here. Like this uh, green opal rock is full of these like detroit formations. And if you're lucky, you can get a whole like geo bomb. It's just I've never been able to get one attacked. That one's nice. Faster. Yeah, I like that one. Right next to that one, on the ground, I look over, broke off a little piece, and inside, so, there's a little more of the opaly stuff, but look at this. Nice seam. Chalcedony in there. Look at that pattern, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a nice one. We're gonna have to try and break some of that out. All right, I'm gonna work on these two. This is a really soft rock. It just you can almost break it with your hands or just <laughs> tap it with another rock. Whoa, that one. That one is bright. Holy cow. Whoa. Oh, and look at the fortification. Whoa. For some reason, this one piece of opal glows blue instead of green like the others. Alrighty, over at Jeans and cleaned up a few of those pieces. This is the one that just this little bit was sticking out of the ground and we dug it out and all that was hidden underneath. Definitely a pretty nice piece. It's got a lot going on in there. Very nice piece of wood. This one I just took some cuts on. I've got another one in the slab saw right now. This one I just did on his little high-tech saw. Very nice wood grain in there. Just cut into the end of that. Oh, I just heard my piece fall on the slab saw. Let's go check it out. Give a little peek at this one. Oh, the piece in the slab saw must have broken half because I still hear it cutting. But I also heard a piece fall. Gorgeous, look at that, it's got petroidals right there. I bet that's green in the UV. Oh yeah, let's go check that out in the UV real quick. Oh, that one's pretty cool. It's definitely got some UV in it. Definitely got some green. Bit of orange. Very nice. Some good wood. And then this one. This one was really cool. Nice big chunk with some really good wood grain in there. Nice flow of wood. Nice big hunk of chunk of wood. Throw some good stuff. You want me to do another one? Holy cow. Yeah, I think we need to. That's pretty gorgeous. That is one amazing slab of pet wood. Oh, on that side. Wow. Holy cow. Alrighty, so that was a few months ago already, and that was back in Utah on our trip from New York to California. Well, I've been settled into California for a little while now. We've even gone past the new year, and I've just had a lot going on. I've been working on a bunch of cabochons and stuff, as I showed in my short recently. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun going out there with that friend. 
I didn't get any more footage because as we were leaving, I was filling up on space. I actually had to delete videos as we were going to try and make some more space to record. And it was just getting hot. Arms were full, backpack was full. Uh, we had a lot to carry out and yeah, that was about the end. But holy cow, we uh, went home, exchanged some pieces. He took me out there so that I could get a bunch of stuff for this video and because you know I don't have the opportunity to go out there as often and so he gave me a lot of really cool pieces that he found even as you saw in the video and we'll look at some of those now in the black light I've already cut some up on the saw we'll check out some of those slabs and well I think we're gonna have to just have a whole second video and maybe even a live going through them because look at how much I brought home between what I collected and he collected and he gave me some of his um, I haven't weighed it, but I think it's got to be pretty close to that 25 pound limit. <laughs> All right, so I was actually pretty curious after I just said that I hadn't weighed it. I realized, you know, we only guesstimated on our way out, but I knew I was under 25 pounds because you can kind of tell if you lift enough rocks, you carry enough stuff around, you know. Well, I just weighed it and it's 17 pounds. So all the material I brought home from this new place right here in this little bucket and there's some of the slices right there Ooh, look at that so as I said before we did slice some of the big ones we mentioned in the video that we were gonna slice this really big one holy cow that came out really really nice and I did mention before we probably will have a whole separate video just examining these Hold on, let me turn on another light here. Okay, much better. I realized I had my lights turned on low. <laughs> it's not just that I needed more lights, I needed to turn up my lights. So, check out that beautiful grain. That pattern just... wow. Looks like straight wood, it doesn't even look like petrified wood. I mean, at least to a colorblind person. Some of you are probably like, wood isn't that color? What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, those slices came out really cool. This is one of the really opalized pieces. And if we look on the ends here, oh, no. Nope. This is when I was cutting into a, gonna see if we could cut some cubes and maybe make a sphere out of this. But the opal, I think, is just too soft compared to the some of the chalcedony it touches. Let me spray this down. Look at that holy cow that is wild look at that pattern in there this is a piece of the opalized petrified wood look at that crazy little banding too who oh look at this side <laughs> that is wild just Pockets of chalcedony in between all this flowing opal. Wow. That is even more beautiful than I remember. Let's check that out in the black light, yeah? And look at that. There's some green, some blue. Maybe some yellow. Hard for me to tell those colors. Again, colorblind. Oh, that's some green. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Sorry for all the dust. The little blue fuzzies from the dust. I just used a towel to try and dry some of this off and that was a bad idea. Fuzzy towel. Look at the f flow. A little flow pattern there to the opal. Whew, wow. Okay. What else do we have in here? Ooh, I know. Hold on. All right, I picked out a few special pieces here. Some of the betroidals, and then there's that one I held up to the light. That one there, and that one there, I believe. Um, but look at that. Like, that. the camera can't even handle this one. All right, if I hold the flashlight off to the side, like point it at my hand, 
or something, it's okay. But like if I put it right on it, whew, kind of floods the camera. It cannot handle that. That right there, I believe is some halite or halite opal. However it's pronounced, people say it all different. <laughs> but check this out. Let's see if we can get a macro in the UV. There we go. Check that out. It's really hard to not have it flood out the camera. But let me show you this piece in the regular light now. Alrighty, so there you go. In the normal light, it doesn't look like much. Looks like it would maybe even be a little chalcedony petroidal piece until you touch it and feel it's really lightweight. It's very soft, it's definitely opal. And it's just got some, oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a piece of the host trapped up in there. For a second I thought it was some color flash. I was like, wait a minute. And it changes the whole game if there's color play, but there's not. Look at that, that's micro betroidals right there. There we go, I had to turn on the other light to get really, really close. Look at those tiny betroidals. We're getting some rainbows and some ref off the little uh, cracks, little rainbow refraction. Tiny, tiny, tiny little betroidals in there. Micro bot surface, and then bigger bot surface. Very cool. Well, that's mostly what I have for this one. We'll look at a few more pieces here. I'm going to show you a few, a few of those betroidals here closer up. Some of those little pieces that we found in the video there. That one's got just a skin of chalcedony over the opal, it looks like. That might also be chalcedony. But it's got a weird, darker skin there. Just a thin, thin layer of it. Look at that. That's really cool. Darker blue. Blue-gray. That one's nice as well. And I did cut up, you know, a few of them. Like I said, that one longer piece I found towards the end said we were going to cut it up, and I did. And it's got some gorgeous wood grain to it. And then there's also some smaller ones that I cut into. And I'd like to show you... It's not perfect, but you can see some really nice wood grain in there. Check out the pattern in the wood grain really, really close. Isn't that super cool? Look at that. So it's not perfect, but this is one that I made a cab out of. I mean, it's really nice. It's got a few little imperfections like that piece chipped off but I tried to give it a nice girdle it's hard with some of the pitting in some of the wood there but yeah I know it's got some finger smudges on it but and some nice pet wood I think that is indeed some of the coolest pattern I've ever found in my own pet wood so Big thanks to my host for taking me out there. Sorry to everyone who might want info because, as was obvious, this was a private location. Not something I can give away, but maybe something that my friend will have claimed one day and will be their own property that we can potentially visit again. Very, very cool. Big thank you to all of my channel members and all of my Patreon supporters. Uh, the next video coming out will have a little more of a sneak peek on some of those cabochons I've been working on, and some of you who are in the Discord already know, or if you read the Patreon updates, you will be getting a cabochon if you are a paid Patreon member. This month, 
towards the end of the month. It was going to be the first week, but with work and a lot of stuff going on and not enough time to make these cabs and get them done, I had to push it to the last week of the month. But I'm going to do a live for all my Patreon members where I'm going to give out some cabochons for free. And I'll include some pieces of wood from here as a free gift as well. So stay tuned for the end of the month when we do that little live and look forward to your free little cabochon bonuses bonuses if you're a Patreon member. Anyway, thanks to everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.